Hello, welcome back to Birdcage Craft Studio with me, Sue Ralph. Today I'm going to show you a card that um, I got some inspiration because the weather here in the UK is so gorgeous. Um, and this one is called a Diamond Fold card. Um, but also I have had um, a sort of a sneak peek of some of the products that Stampin' Up! are bringing out for this new catalogue in July in the UK. And I just wanted to use some of their new colours. So what I'm going to do is I'll just give you a quick overview of um, the, the new colour and the stamp set that Stampin' Up! have bought out that I've used on this card. Now the colours, first of all, the actual card base is a Tangelo Twist and I've used the very vanilla, um, as you can see on the front. Uh, but the other new colours that I've used are the, um, the first one on the, on the chevron here is um, Lost Lagoon and then you've got Tangelo Twist again and then Hello Honey. And on the small flowers we have um, a colour that's called Blackberry Bliss and then actually on the leaves is called Mossy Meadow. Um, I've also used uh, one of the new stamp sets which is called Work of Art and that's for the, the chevrons and also for the sentiment as you can see down here. But then the other uh, stamp set and punches that I have used are from the flower shop and from the petite petals. Um, this card I've actually managed to cut out of a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, but because it is quite a long folded card, I've cheated and cut it in half into two 8 inch panels and then I've put those together. So all in all, you get a card which is um, 16 inches long, so it is quite a long card. Let me just pull back a little bit and then I can show you. If I just lay it down on the table, you see it's quite a long, a long card. But um, you can make an envelope for it to go into, um, you know, so it's not a very big envelope that you have to try and send off. And there's just a, a closer view of the card. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this card. Right, as I said, you can use a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and you want to cut out two panels which are eight inches by five and a half inches, or if you're going to use centimetres, 20.4 centimetres by 14 centimetres. And then you can also cut out two smaller panels, and these are three and seven eighths on the inch side, and that's square, or if you're using centimetres, it's 9.9 .9 centimetres. And then what we have to do then, once we've cut these out, we can move these two away from the middle, uh, for a moment because these are going to go into the middle of the card and then we just want our two panels and we have to do some scoring so let me move this away bring in my trimmer because I'm just going to use the, the score part on the top so if you've got the, the cutter the blade just push it right down the bottom out of your way okay so what I'm going to probably do when I do this I need to go backwards and forwards with the camera just to give you a bit of a close-up so, okay, we're going to start off with our eight by five and a half inch panel. I'm going to take all of these off now. I'm going to save time, I've already, I've already scored the one. And then what we want to do, if I just bring this in a little bit closer, if I can, and then you can see what I'm going to do. So the first, um, first score line that we need is two and three quarters, okay? I'm hoping that you can see this. So two and three quarters, and then you need to score it down. And then the next, oh, that doesn't seem to have gone through very well. Oh, I think the score, scoring part is blunt at the moment. Let me just go and get another one. <laughs> 